It smells a bit like a burnout, it's kind of nice. Obviously these and fittings are just aluminum. They do scratch pretty easily. I try to be gentle with them, but I also don't worry about it too much because it's not a show car. So this is the supply line. So it comes out of the tank there. In my previous video I showed the Walboro 255 fuel pump that's in there. And then I'm going to, uh, I'll attach it to the engine stand here. I'll probably just use nylon straps for that, but I'm gonna paint it first and then I'll put those on. And then the feed line just attaches to these AN fittings on the rail here. Now I basically have one more to do. The return line will come off here and it'll follow the same basic course down. The only difference is uh, I do have to put the fuel pressure regulator um, in the line there. So I'll probably uh, attach it somewhere to the engine stand. I'll figure that part out next. The regulator comes with this bracket. So that gets attached to something. It just screws on there with these little screws. So that'll be pretty good. The only downside though is this is just some sort of zinc plated steel, just mild steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to copy that bracket out of some stainless steel and then I'll weld the stainless steel to the uh, engine stand so it'll be stainless on stainless. For drilling the stainless, I find the cobalt drill bits, not just plated, but, but actual cobalt drill. Uh, they hold up the longest against the stainless, and they're actually the best drills for pretty much everything i found. Anyway, um, but I like to keep them sharp, so uh, thanks to uh, this old Tony for his video on how to sharpen, because that's um, sp definitely speed things up for me. I used to use a drill doctor, but now just doing it on a bench grinder 
using the skills that uh, I learned from watching that, this old Tony video. So if you haven't seen that one, it's a great video, go watch it. Fuel lines are done. So it's all dash six. So from the feed through the filter comes up. It's kind of hard to see when everything's black on black. But into the fuel rail there. What comes back comes from the return through here. The regulator's mounted. I do have this. Um, so this is the vacuum slash boost reference. And that line comes up and I have it connected to this right now. So I'm hoping that should work. That should just be manifold vacuum or, or boost. So we'll try that. If you guys know otherwise, let me know. But otherwise fuel lines are done. Now I don't have anything tight yet. I still have to paint it and then I'll put everything on permanently. This is the vent for the fuel cell, and it's just a dash eight bulkhead fitting. This was the original pickup, so this would be inside the tank, sitting on the bottom, and the pickup is at, you can see the groove at the bottom there. So, I have some dash eight hose around somewhere, but I, it might be in storage, I'm not sure where it is. So for now, uh, I'm gonna basically use the pickup as the vent. And I might change this later. We'll see how it how it plays out with what it'll attach to. But for now, that might work. And basically the vent will obviously be up higher. I'll attach it somewhere around there. So anyway, the vent won't be a problem. For the fuel inlet uh, into the fuel cell, obviously it has this inlet thing. And that adjusts, I'll change the, uh, the angle of it. I still have to buy the hose for that. And then I'm not entirely sure where I'll bring it. I might, I'll bring it out somewhere on the side. Uh, that's to be determined. But otherwise, fuel cell is done. Obviously the wire needs to get done. I'll do that at the same time I install the computer. So um, coming up next, so for the next video, I think I'm gonna tear into the engine. I'm gonna do a cam swap and the springs and maybe a few other things, nothing too major. Thanks for watching.